Welcome back to GP Outdoors. As Christopher Robin would say, it's a blustery day, Pooh. She's windy. It's kicked up overnight and it's gotten really bad today. Not only is it windy, you can see the sleet and the snow coming at me from an angle from the side, but the winds are swirling. They're constantly changing direction. We're gonna head down the concession road over to neighbor Alfred's. May you rest in peace. Husky Bob gave me a shout two days ago. I met him over in the driveway. I figured since I'm heading out the driveway to the concession road, no sense wasting a trip, so I thought I'd blow out my own driveway along the way. As I mentioned before in the past, having a blower is a great addition, especially when you're in a position where you have nowhere to push snow. However, just using the blower alone throughout the winter causes you to slowly build a bigger and bigger base of hard packed snow on the ground because the blower in essence just rides along in the skid shoes and it rides along on anything hard below it. I know we've talked a lot about that beacon, but I'll tell you, you first responders that kept urging me to get that on the tractor were absolutely right. You can see that thing flashing even through this little mini storm a mile away. Husky Bob and Alfred's family have been friends for decades, so even after Alfred's passing, Husky Bob always helps out the family, his wife and his children, making sure that the place is maintained. And he also, if you remember, has a big garden out the front right side of your screen there. You may recall from the winter. I've been here a few times in the past. Today, the mission is to get this thing scraped down a little closer to ground. We went through some warm weather, as you folks know, and that causes that base to become very wet and slushy. And in fact, we had a car stuck in there a few days back and had to use a chain to haul it out to the concession road because they couldn't get through the driveway. Many of you have asked me whether or not this LX2610 can blow and blade at the same time. So you're gonna see that today. And throughout the video, you're also going to see, as you do now, that I'm constantly swinging that chute left to right because the wind continually changes directions and it's very high winds as you can probably hear in the background microphone. So I'm trying each pass to find the best side of the driveway to blow the snow to. And since it keeps changing direction, I need to keep swinging the chute. And that way I'm not putting most of the snow back in the driveway. I'm trying to get it off to the edges onto the grass. One of the troubles with helping out a neighbor is you're not as familiar with their driveway as you are with your own. And if you take a look behind the tractor, you'll see there's a kind of a big brown spot behind the tractor, kind of center right of the screen. And that's unfortunately where I took the blade across Alfred's front lawn, kind of dug it up a little bit, because I didn't realize I was outside the edges of the driveway. She'll grow back. You may recall from previous videos, I'm right now I'm clearing snow out of the grass in front of the old shed. Alfred had two Ford 8Ns, and if you look closely to the right side of your screen in the background, you'll see one of the 8Ns sitting there underneath a pile of snow, and the other one, the one that runs, is actually in this old shed to the right, which you can't see. 
I believe the reason Alfred bought the second one is just for parts, because it doesn't run. <laughs> but Bobby still to this day uses the 8M that's in the shed to till that garden, among other things, throughout the year. It has no working brakes, which is <laughs> one drawback, but it still runs. It's important before I finish today that I laid out the front of the house by the staircase and the wheelchair ramp because the van needs to back up in there in order to get the wheelchair and the lift out and to get Alfred's wife up to the house. As we back up here in front of the front steps and the wheelchair ramp, I'm actually blading the grass because this again is lawn right here, it's not driveway, but they need the area cleared out. As I look behind me through the rear window, I can see that I'm getting down, getting a lot of snow out of there because you start to see little spots of grass, so that's a good sign. I'm still really happy that I spent the money on that hydraulic rear blade kit. So much easier to spin or turn that blade without having to get out in the cold or in icy conditions and pull a pin and try to spin it. As I make this next pass, you can probably hear the engine RPMs dropping down pretty substantially. And that's because I realized I'd left the machine in medium range. And when you're blading heavy pack snow, you probably want to get your tractor into low range so that you'll get that extra bit of, I guess, torque is what it is, or power. I think I was getting a little bit risky here because I know Husky Bob's going to come out with a shovel and clear off that ramp and the staircase, but I was trying to make it as easy as possible and you'll see I got just a little tight to that ramp. Fortunately though I didn't hit it on the way by, but one thing to keep in mind is when you're using your rear blade, you most likely have your stabilizer bars in that oval hole to allow the blade to swing sideways to some degree left and right. You don't want it in a static position where the blade has no ability to move if it hits a hard object. And there's lots of grass there, so I know I'm pretty much down as far as I wanna go, because if I continue to scrape, I'm gonna start digging up the front lawn. Let's get her cleared out and then we'll take care of the last little bit there out in front of that temporary shed. I think this is a great shot here for you to see that the blower removes a lot of snow, but take a look at how much snow is left behind by the blower that the blade is picking up. Bobby's only been using a blower all winter, so this gives you an idea just how much base has been piled up and packing on top of that driveway that will turn to wet, slushy snow when the temperature swings.
my friends, I think that's a wrap. Mission accomplished. I'm sure Bobby will come by and uh, check it. <laughs> Give me his thumbs up or his stamp of approval, or I'll be back again. <laughs> Thanks a lot for sticking around with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And for those that were asking me to show you how well it blades and blows at the same time, I hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful week out there with your families. Please be kind to one another. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers. <laughs>